Hello, I'm Ali Mohammadi. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about reservoir characterization and geological modeling and give some definition to these two terms. Let's get started. Now let's talk about the reservoir characterization. What is the definition of the reservoir characterization? Reservoir characterization is defined as a way to obtain a probable representation of the reservoir. How can we represent the reservoir? We need different kinds of data, such, a pro such as the prosody permeability to achieve this task. Let me uh, give you an example uh, to help you to understand this one so much better. Consider you want to go, go on a date, like uh, for example with a girl. And you may first ask question like uh, the, the, to the person that just set you up with that girl, like, oh, how the girl look like? The person may uh, tell you, oh, the girl is funny, the girl is uh, friendly. Those things, those things are that person kind of character. So with reservoir characterization, we know what how the reservoir character look like. But can we predict the behavior of the reservoir? It's going to be so difficult because, you know, you may understand that like one person, like in the real world, for example, you may, you may understand, oh, that person is so funny, they're friendly, but you don't know how he would or she would behave in a real world. So we need something else. We need to model that person. So the next step, I'm going to talk about geological modeling. So the next step is the geological modeling, which is the process of the obtaining a model. So what is the model anyway? Now, let me give you an example of, of the modeling in real world. I'm sure that every one of you like is familiar with the modeling and fashion. People that work in the fashion industry, uh, usually they just uh, wear different kind of clothes and represent them and try to sell them. They kind of represent you and they kind of tell you how you would look like if you wore those clothes. So they kind of predict your behavior. I mean, they kind of predict how you would look like. Uh, if you were th those clothes and just convince you to buy it. They are models. They're just kind of based on reality, based on the like different kind of people, different humans, based on you, like how you would look like. Now let's come back to geological modeling. Like geological modeling, we can kind of say, uh, we can kind of say the same thing. We kind of representing the reservoir. We kind of model the reservoir. We make a sample reservoir from the real reservoir so we can predict the real reservoir behavior so we can study the reservoir the real reservoir behavior this is called the geological modeling so geological modeling is creating the sample or a reservoir model based on the real reservoir which can predict uh, some reservoir behavior well to recap now we have uh, two things reservoir characterization and geological modeling. First, with reservoir characterization, we characterize the reservoir. We know what's the characterization of the reservoir. And then, after that, with geological modeling, we try to predict the reservoir behavior by creating a sample model based on the real reservoir. Well, we should know that, that the geological modeling and reservoir characterization is a teamwork. It be, it's done by geologists and reservoir engineers, and it's kind of a difficult job. So it cannot be done by one particular group, and, and it must be done in a team. Now, reservoir characterization and geological modeling needs data. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the source of data for geological modeling and reservoir characterization.